Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Days, and today I'm going to take you along as I open some of my freeze-dried sweet potatoes that I did last year. I did some that are already cooked, and they're mashed, and they had a touch of sweet because I had a light syrup, so they should already have some sweet taste to them other than just the sweet potato. We're going to open this one today, and I'm going to make Danny's sweet potato dessert, and we're going to see how he likes it. And you can hear, still sounds kind of crunchy. Now, I have this one. It is sweet potatoes. They're shredded, and I only parboiled them for five minutes. You hear them too. I may use these in a few days. We're going to try and see how they do. Now, Back a while back, I bought air dried sweet potatoes. All this is is um, little bitty pieces of sweet potato that has been um, dehydrated. When it says air dried, it is dehydrated. So I'm gonna open this one in the next couple of weeks and we're gonna use this. It says uh, one ounce equals a quarter of a cup. So I need about two cups. I would figure that would be, um, let's see eight ounces approximately of this and then I also had bought the air dried uh, sweet potato powder now I have made the powder into a sweet potato dessert and it turned out okay it was it was already in a powder form so we added it like a cake mix into it and made the sweet potato dessert and I think there's a video there somewhere but today we're opening some of our sweet potatoes that we grew here at Deep South. I cooked them, mashed them, put them on a freeze dryer tray, freeze dried them, and they have been there since October of 21. Not a long time, but we want to know. Still sounds kind of crunchy. We're going to open it up and see if I can make a dessert. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to open this. And see what we have inside. Because it's only been less than eight months. Alright, now one thing I know for sure. We do not need this. So we'll take that out. It's going to be... I mean, it can be broken up, but I'm not going to sit here and do that. What I'm going to do is add some water. I'm not going to try to make it back into a just a powder because that's the way I broke it up in pieces when I did it. So we're going to add a little bit. I've got a cup here. And... We're going to put the whole cup in here and see if I can't make mashed potatoes again. All right. Yeah, see that? Now, what I haven't gotten water on, it needs, it's going to need some more, but we need to know, can we make back mashed potatoes, mashed sweet potatoes? You can see some of it is, but what I haven't put water on so I've got a second cup and there's no recipe right now for this because this is mine so you can't say how much water do you add this is my first time doing this so I didn't know how much water to add usually I add it till it looks like it's back to the consistency I need so see some of that still hard this is my second cup So I've used about one cup and a half right now. But you can see what's coming together. See, it's looking like mashed sweet potatoes. This just blows my mind. There's still hard parts. We're gonna go ahead 
Add all, that's two cups of water to my sweet potatoes. We're gonna let them sit for just a minute. But you can see already, it is looking like sweet potatoes. I am so totally amazed. <laughs> I'm going to let that moisture absorb in. And we've got to add to our mixture. So I don't want to add too much. I'm going to let that sit and absorb. Because there's enough moisture there, I think, to make my sweet potatoes. What do y'all think? I think it's amazing. We're going to go ahead and add our eggs, a touch of milk, and um, our baking powder and stuff. We're not adding any sweetener because Danny does not want extra sweetener, but if you were making by my recipe in my cookbook, it has vanilla, sugar, milk, eggs, the whole nine yards. But this is for Danny and we make it Danny's way. All right, I added a touch of salt and a touch of baking powder. And it's already mixing up pretty good. We're adding four eggs and we're gonna add I just add a touch of milk this is almond milk about uh, maybe a quarter of a cup And we're just going to start mixing. And I'd still have some lumps, so the milk may have to absorb it. And I'm hand mixing this time because I usually use the Ninja, but I wasn't sure how this was going to work. So I've got to make sure my lumps kind of go away. That's where the extra milk will come in handy if I need it. But look at that. <laughs> Already. We're going to let those lumps sit a minute. I'm going to turn the oven on. The oven is on 375. And just letting it sit there, those lumps just go back to sweet potatoes. Y'all, this is crazy. I know. You just got to give it a few minutes and let them just sit. And then we'll continue mixing. As they go back to sweet potatoes, they absorb the moisture. Each lump is starting to Fade away into sweet potatoes. And that's one reason I did not add more water. Was the milk will help absorb plus the eggs. And you would then have it too wet if you put too much water into it. All right. This looks amazing. It looks like a fresh sweet potato. I'm not going to lie. I've been very skeptical about my freeze dryer, wondering how things are going to do, but these sweet potatoes mashed and done. And I do have lumps in it, but I realize it's pieces of sweet potato. I didn't mash them totally. I left some hunks in them. So Danny will get bites of sweet potato, which is perfectly okay. He likes that. And that's usually how I do it anyways. But doesn't that look amazing? Now into the oven for, I don't know. I usually put it in there about 30 to 40 minutes and check it. If it needs to go a little longer, we'll leave it longer than that. But we'll show you what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. Well, this wanted to call me in. Um, said she had a 
treat here. So we have this sweet potato dessert and she wants me to taste it. So we're gonna see, I, I'm kind of partial to around the edges of anything. So we're gonna see how hot it is because the, the bowl is like screaming hot. Actually, to be honest, she makes these for me out of fresh sweet potatoes or canned sweet potatoes. And those are a lot more liquidy. This one is almost like bread. I mean, it's, it's like bread. When I eat it, yeah. And it has no flour in it. No, oh, I don't know what you put in it, but I mean. But it has the freeze-dried sweet potatoes that I freeze-dried. Oh, is that what it is? I, it was freeze-dried mashed sweet potatoes, and I okay. just added the eggs and stuff to it, and no flour whatsoever. See, I would have guessed that you put flour in it. Because nope. it's just like eating bread. I mean, it's, it's like bread. And so I added no sweetener, so how is the sweet? Oh, the sweetness is perfect. I mean, it's, it's like perfect. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I think I like it better than the other. Does that mean I gotta freeze dry a lot? Because this one's not wet, it's not liquidy, you know? This one's dry, it's like, it's like a really good biscuit. <laughs> Except it's sweet potato. Now, I know there's a such thing as sweet potato bread, but, but uh, it's usually got flour in it, and I can't believe this it. This has no flour in it, you said, huh? No. I mean... No flour. I mean, I don't know any other way and I could gotta do it. It's got to cool a little bit. Yeah, um, it's still pretty warm, but it's actually really, really good. So, guys, sweet potatoes, freeze-dried, made rehydrated, mm. made back into a sweet potato dessert for Danny. Looks like I'm gonna be freeze drying in the future. What you think? Yeah, cause this is, I'm telling you, this is like a cake. I can't eat cake because most of them have flour in them. And I've never found a rice flour cake that I thought was even fit to eat or almond flour or anything like that. But this is as close to a cake as I think I've ever come without it being an actual flour cake with this kind of taste. This is a winner, definitely. Thank you guys from Crazy Days. <laughs>